Huawei unveiled one of the most extravagant smartphones in recent memory, the Mate XT, a tri-fold smartphone with a 10-inch folding screen that blurs the distinction between smartphone and tablet. We were understandably attracted by its form factor and had the opportunity to try one out for a short amount of time. The Mate XT's thinness was the first thing that stood out to us. At 3.6 millimeters when unfurled, the Mate XT feels impossibly thin which is even more noticeable when compared to other of the more popular horizontal foldables. For comparison, here's a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and a Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Mate XT has three screen sizes. When folded, it has a 6.4-inch single screen, a 7.9-inch dual pane when you unlatch one side, and a 10.2-inch dimension when both hinges are fully open. The entire panel is an LTPO OLED with a 3,184 by 2,232 pixel resolution, a refresh rate of 90 Hz, and a 16 by 11 ratio when fully unfolded. There is a little cutout in the far left corner for the 8 megapixel selfie camera. There is a noticeable screen seam that runs across both sides of the twin hinges. It feels like a generation or two removed from the current crop of Chinese foldables, which have reduced creases to almost undetectable levels. Aside from that, we can't identify many issues with the screen. It's vivid, bright, and the immense diagonal is great for content consumption. In terms of media consumption, several third-party Chinese apps, including as Douyin, are already seamlessly tuned for the Mate XT's three screen sizes. Videos and app UI expand nicely to fit the screen and we can expect to see more apps optimized in the coming months. Huawei's keyboard also divides beautifully when unfolded, allowing for more ergonomic typing. Mate XT's body is composed of three separate components and two hinge mechanisms. The hinges seem robust, with uniform strain and a forceful snap at the ends. You may position the hinges at any angle, allowing you to position the Mate XT in a zigzag pattern on flat surfaces. The entire device feels premium with the metal frame and the nicely textured faux leather back. A quick remark about the cameras. They appear spectacular at first glance. The 50 megapixel main camera, which has a variable f1.4 to f4.0 aperture, is carried over from the Pura 70 Pro and should produce excellent stills with a shallow depth of field. Huawei also included a 12 megapixel dedicated periscope with 5.5 times optical zoom and a 12 megapixel ultra-wide lens, which covers the three main focal lengths of a flagship phone. The phone is powered by Huawei's in-house Kirin 9010 CPU and has 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. In our brief time with the device, performance was quick, but we hadn't really tested it to its limits. A 5,600 milliamp hour battery with 66 watt wired and 50 watt wireless charging completes the list of specifications. It remains to be seen how this battery will power the large display.